Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will start a new series of lectures for liquid chromatography mass spectrometer, LZ MSMS, which is a very important instrument nowadays used for analysis of most organic compounds. You will find most of methods today depend on this instrument because it's very sensitive in analysis of most organic compounds and has a wide range of analysis. First, technique of this instrument used analytical technique used to measure mass to charge ratio of charged particle ions. Mass to charge of an ion formed by dividing the mass number of an ion mass number of an ion divided by its charge number. First samples will be introduced to the mass analyzer by the use of HPLC introduction of sample molecules to mass analyzer by HPLC. So HPLC in this case only used for introduction of the samples to mass. Also used for separation of compounds according to polarity. This is not our subject for today but also better to review that for refresh only the column chromatography. There are two types of chromatography, in this case, normal phase and reverse phase chromatography. Normal phase, you will find stationary phase and mobile phase. Stationary phase here, polar. Mobile phase is non-polar. Here, stationary phase and mobile phase. Stationary phase here non polar, mobile phase is polar. And this is most common used in our laboratories. If the stationary phase, which is the colon itself, is non polar, in this case, when compounds, when molecules, when the sample will pass through the column by mobile phase, mobile phase carry the sample and pass through the, the column, non-polar compounds, non-polar compounds will be retained, non-polar compounds or molecules will be retained on the stationary phase because it's already non-polar. We know as a rule in chromatography, polar like polar, non-polar like non-polar. So non-polar compounds will be retained more on the stationary phase on the column and polar compounds will pass first. So polar compounds in this case will pass first and non-polar it will take longer time to be separated and after that will be separated after polar compounds. Here, normal phase opposite to reversed phase chromatography. This is like only for review, to review your information, but this is not our subject for today. After samples will be introduced to the mass analyzer by HPLC, and samples will be separated according to polarity to polar molecules and non-polar molecules, these molecules will be transferred to the mass, it will be ionized at the beginning, so ionization of analyte molecules to charged particles or ions will be ionized by the use of ion source. By the use of ion source, it will be ionized to charged particles or, 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 or ions that will be measured by this technique, and then will be separated will be separated by the mass analyzer, separation of these ions by mass analyzer according to mass to charge ratio of these ions. So it will be able this to identify the chemical structure of the molecule and the elemental structure of the mixture. What are the advantages of this instrument? This instrument is very sensitive in analysis of most organic compounds. You can get the lowest LOD for your compounds or your method using this instrument. You can get the lowest LOQ with a very high recovery. 
also can differentiate between two or more compounds having the same spectra or molecular weight. If you have two compounds and these two compounds having the same molecular weight, in this case, how can you differentiate between both of them? By fragmentation. Not only the compounds, the molecules will be measured, but these molecules, uh, these compounds will be fragmented to product ions. And every compound have different product ions than the other. So, product ions are the fingerprint for the compound. So, you can differentiate between the com two, two or more compounds having the same molecular weight by their product ions, their fingerprints. Also, can identify compounds in an unresolved chromatographic peaks by spectral data. If you have chromatographic peaks like this, there is no resolution, there is no separation between the peaks. In this case, also you can uh, get the result for every compound by their spectral data or their molecular weight. And now we will have a general idea of what's happening inside the mass. After the sample molecules will be transferred to the mass analyzer by HPLC, inside mass, these molecules will meet the ion source. Where ionization occurs. Ionization for these analyte molecules, electron will hit the molecule, so it will lose electrons and will be converted to molecular ion. Molecular ion, which has the same molecular mass, same molecular mass like molecule, but positively charged ion, and also has one electron alone, so it will be unstable. Unstable. So it has a tendency to be stable. How can this molecular ion will be stable? These molecular ions will be transferred to the mass analyzer to quadruples. Quadruples. First, these molecular ions will meet quadruple one. Quadruple one for selection of target analytes, target ions. So here, target ions, targeted ions, will be selected. Only selection. And will be moved or transferred to quadruple 2, which is collision cell. By the use of collision gas and heater, it will be, or trying, uh, collision gas, it will be con fragmented. These molecular ions will be fragmented to product ions will be fragmented to product ions and these product, product ions are more stable than molecular ions these product, product ions as we said for every compound there, is a, there are specific product ions different than other compounds so these consider to be the, 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 the fingerprint for the compound After that will be transferred to Q3, quadruple 3, then to detector. As we see in this graph, mobile face in HPLC will carry the sample to transfer it to the mass. And it will move through, at the beginning, it will move through the ion source where ionization occurs. These samples will be nebulized at the beginning by nitrogen gas or nebulizer gas and heating to form spray droplets. Spray droplets form it from sample molecule surrounded by solvent molecule. And then these solvent molecules will be evaporated by evaporation to form sample molecules. And sample molecules will move, it will be uh, electron will hit the molecule to form molecular ion which has the same molecular mass like uh, molecule but unstable. And two electrons will be discharged to an electron discharge, or it will make another ionization. And this molecular ion will move through quadruples Q1 and Q2. And in Q2, collision cell will be colliding with nitrogen gas, uh, collision gas, nitrogen gas also, to form product ions, which uh, are specific for each molecule. These product ions 
will be under the effect of electric and magnetic field to reach to the detector. Electric and magnetic field will regulate the movement of these ions to detector. Electric field voltages will be applied to all parts of the mass from ion source to detector and it will decrease gradually in a potential gradient program it will decrease gradually from ion source to detector to help ions to be easily transferred from ion source to detector and magnetic field by applying magnetic field as in this graph by applying magnetic field these ions will be deflected to take another path to detector and movement of these ions will be regulated according to the mass to charge of ions where smallest, smallest mass to charge ions will migrate faster to the detector but what will happen if there is no magnetic field these ions will hit the detector randomly and you should know also that neutral molecules will not be transferred to the detector only ions can pass through this path to the detector after ions will move to the detector only one ion from each molecule can pass to the detector so the detector will receive a very little amount of energy which is one electron which is not sufficient to draw the signal but detector has something called diodes Diodes used to amplify the electron to sufficient number of electrons to be able to draw the signal. These diodes, like this, each electron, one electron will move to the first diode it will increase by 3x it will be amplified by 3x so it will be 3 electrons then these 3 electrons will move to the other diode it will also by 3x will be amplified by 3x will be 9 electrons and so on at the end it will give sufficient number of electrons to be able to draw the signal and get the result all of these parts will be explained in details in the next lectures inshallah but you should know also that LC mass used to analyze all types of samples liquid, solid and gas but all of these samples should be in the gas state before transferring to the mass analyzer or quadruples so solid samples will be melted and heated and liquid samples will be evaporated or heated also you should know that mobile face used to transfer the samples to mass composed of mobile face A and mobile face B mobile face A deionized water plus ammonium formate plus formic acid ammonium formate or ammonium acetate formic acid or acetic acid ammonium formate or acetate in some methods you will not find ammonium formate is important to, to be added but in most of methods related to LC mass you will find ammonium formate and formic acid here mobile phase B, B or can be organic solvent plus ammonium formate plus formic acid formic acid or acetic acid used to adjust pH of mobile phase to be suitable for separation of target analytes so it will be different from one method to another method ammonium formate which is buffer ammonium salt or formic acid or acetic acid this buffer formed from formic acid and used to again form formic acid because it can react with 
diluted acid to form formic acid again. So it will keep the mobile phase for a long time. Even if there is evaporation or fungus effect. Also, ammonium formate has a limited solubility in organic solvent, acetonitrile, can be dissolved in methanol but weakly and it's dissolved in deionized water. If you want to prepare, you will prepare in deionized water. The equation to prepare ammonium from it is equal to M V volume weight divided by one. You want to prepare one molar in one liter. This is the equation you can use to prepare. And after you will prepare ammonium formate or acetate, that should be filtered. Because it contains salts that will be converted after some time, if you keep it for a longer time, to crystals, and these crystals will be transferred to the bomb, and it will destroy the bomb. So it's better it, you have to filter that ammonium format before you will add to the mobile phase. That was only a simple introduction for LC mass, and in the next lecture, inshallah, we will explain every part in details. If you found this lecture useful for you share it with your friends it will be more helpful for them and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel on youtube thank you and see you in the next lecture inshallah assalamu alaikum